I am a certified welder. I've been welding for 15 years. I also hold a certified welding inspector's license along with a certified welding educator's license through the American Welding Society. When it comes to argon gas and the history and the birth of tungsten inert gas welding, argon gas is required. You need argon gas to not only prevent porosity, but it prevents oxidation, brittleness, weakness. A lot of people don't realize what the term porosity means. And porosity means that it has little tiny microscopic holes unseen to the naked eye, which eventually will corrode and break. What do I say to those trainers who say you don't need argon gas to welt? When you are training other people and telling them that you don't need argon gas for the welding process that they're using, they have zero education on that actual welding process. I would um, say to them that they should probably pick up a code book or speak to someone who actually knows what they're talking about. You know, one of my union sisters is welding you know, 16 inch stainless steel pipe, right? Do you think that she's using that without argon gas? Do you think that she's welding those pipes, those stainless steel pipes, no matter what size material, when you are using gas tungsten arc welding, it is designed to work with argon. Otherwise, you will get a terrible weld. That's, that's the truth. Regardless of the size, it, it does not matter. Metal is metal.